day everyone. I am Pastora Ria Ella Paperos. With me here today is Pastora Daphne Vicente. We are starting on on our new series titled Transform Series. It is our desire to help you believers. It is you. It is you. And this series will help you in your journey with the Lord. Yes, we look forward that you would commit into um, following level 1 up to 12 and learn on biblical foundation so that you will grow in your spiritual life. Today we are now on level 8 of our Transform series. Today we will be teaching and discussing the baptism in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the promised gift of Jesus Christ before He ascended to the heavens. So there are three baptisms that the New Testament is teaching. Number one, salvation. This is the baptism of a new believer by the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit here is the baptizer. And Jesus Christ is what we are baptized into. In 1 Corinthians 12, verse 13, For we were all baptized by one Spirit, so as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free. And we were all given the one Spirit to drink. Now the second baptism, is the water baptism so the the baptizer is the is the pastor or the the head of a group in matthew 3 matthew 3 verse 11 so this is john john the baptist i baptize you with water for repentance but after me comes one who is more powerful than i whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. So the, the, the one that uh, John the Baptist was talking about was Jesus. And the third um, baptism that the Bible teaches is baptism in the Holy Spirit. The baptizer is Jesus Christ. And we are being baptized in the Holy Spirit. Now, there are three um, experiences. We have three experiences with the Holy Spirit as the Bible teaches. The Holy Spirit is with us before salvation. So, before we accepted Christ as our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit is already in the world. Number two, the Holy Spirit comes in us at salvation. As a person accepts Jesus as his Lord and Savior, now the Holy Spirit comes in us. Your body now becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit. And another experience, our another experience of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit comes upon us during the baptism in the Holy Spirit. In Acts 1 verse 8, the Bible says, And you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. That means you will be filled by the Holy Spirit. Pastor Daphne, what are the purposes of the baptism in the Holy Spirit? There are three purposes for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. As a child of God, it is important for you to be baptized with the Holy Spirit. It's number one purpose. It is a proof of the acceptance of God of our lives as a temple. In Acts 10, verse 44 to 48, it speaks of the baptism of the Holy Spirit to the Gentiles. We are Gentiles, we are not Jews. And also, uh, you can be baptized by the Holy Spirit. On Pentecost, in the, books of, in the book of Acts, uh, what happened was a 
tongues of fire rested on the believers. It is a proof that they were um, Holy Spirit baptized. We have a sinful lifestyle before. We accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And now that we accepted him in our lives, it is important that by his grace and by his mercy, we will be able to change into a lifestyle that pleases the Lord. Now that you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, it is a proof of, of God's approval in your life as his temple. Remember, the Holy Spirit lives in you when you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And now when you are baptized by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit comes upon you. It is like a cup with water. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, Jesus is like the water. You're the empty cup. And so you have been filled in when you accepted Jesus. The Holy Spirit is in you. Now when you are baptized by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit comes upon you. It's like you have been poured out poured by water and so it overflows in your life so this transformation is another purpose of the baptism of the holy spirit a changed life the transformation of a believer into a witness into a witness of the holy spirit it is in acts 1 8 and you shall receive power to be witnesses of the gospel you will not be scared anymore you will not be uh, timid anymore or shy in sharing the gospel but rather once you are baptized with the holy spirit you will have that courage because again it is the holy spirit who empowers you now this transformed life happens after you are baptized with the holy spirit there's going to be an empowerment from the holy spirit that you will be willing to live a holy life also the holy spirit would help you to always again glorify jesus in your life at times you will fail but because the holy spirit comes upon you you will always have the courage to stand up again and lastly in first john chapter 20 chapter 2 verse 20 and 27 i would like to read this one the third purpose is the anointing of power. Let's open our Bible in 1 John chapter 2. Okay, it says here, But you are not like that, for the Holy Spirit has given you His Spirit, and all of you know the truth. Now, this truth is the gospel. This truth is God himself. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Now, when you right now experience the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you will know all truth. In verse 27, it says, but you have received the Holy Spirit and he lives within you. So you don't need anyone to teach you what is true. For the Spirit teaches you everything you need to know. And what he teaches is true. It is not a lie. So just as he has taught you, remain in fellowship with Christ. So the anointing of power comes in. You will be able to uh, live a life according to the will of God. Now, Pastor Bambi will teach us on how you will receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. In order for us to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, number one, we must recognize that we are born again. So we have accepted Christ as our Lord and Savior. Please uh, understand that water baptism is not a prerequisite for you to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. It is being taught in Acts 10. Now, second, you need to recognize that the baptism in the Holy Spirit is a gift of God. Let us open our Bible in Acts 1 verse 4. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command, 
do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised which you have heard me speak about. So this was Jesus Christ talking with his disciples. He said, do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised. So you need to recognize that the baptism in the Holy Spirit is a gift from the Lord. Another thing is we need to recognize that we are commanded to receive we are commanded to what? To receive. It is a gift. And because it is a gift, you need to receive. Even if I'm telling you this, how to receive, but if you don't receive the gift, then you won't be able to possess it. And lastly, we need to recognize that the promise includes us. That includes you. That includes me. That we are we are entitled, or not really entitled, but we can receive the gift. Pastor Daphne, now, now that we know how to receive, what should we do for us to receive this gift? It is really important to have the heart to ask the Lord Jesus Christ. Because being uh, baptized with the Holy Spirit, it is Jesus' job. Jesus uh, will be the one to baptize us with the Holy Spirit. So you must ask the Lord Jesus Christ to baptize you. It is simply uh, praying to God and say, Lord Jesus, I ask you right now to baptize me with the Holy Spirit. And it's important to begin to worship God after asking him. Uh, take some time to worship the Lord and just be um, ex just experience the presence of God evident in your life and then expect expect to be baptized by the holy spirit it's important to be expectant and receive the baptism of the holy spirit you have to open your mouth and start um speaking in tongues you'll be amazed and how for example you, i don't know how to speak in tongues it is very important that after you ask jesus to baptize you with the holy spirit and in the middle of worship, you must have an expectant heart. Open your mouth by faith, and the Lord Jesus will himself put words into your mouth. You don't have to understand it. Because the tongues are different languages that you don't have to understand. And it's important, like a baby starting talking, you just have to start with few tongues, few words that you don't understand. And open your mouth and talk by faith. So that is how uh, the process of being baptized by the Holy Spirit. If you are in the church and your pastor is with you and you are in the midst of worship and uh, the pastor would anoint you with the baptism of the Holy Spirit, that can also happen. The baptism of the Holy Spirit can happen in a congregation or being alone in your room. It can happen to you. So it's important right now to understand that it is a gift. And because it's a gift, you just have to receive it. I would like to encourage you to continue on asking the Lord for the gift of the Holy Spirit. And uh, we, are, we are glad that you continue on learning with us. We are looking forward that you continue to the next level. God bless you today.